Hey everyone, my name is Melissa Hawks and I want to teach you for making pictures. So this is the background eraser tool. It's to remove the green background. Make sure the black and green is checked. You press the first button. You make sure it's uh, discontinuous. Tolerance needs to be 100, and you need to check the box of projects for ground color. Then you click on the green, only on the green. So, because if you do it on your AV, your AV will fade. So, yeah. uh, you can duplicate layer just to make sure that, like, sometimes clothing can be removed or like faded. And this helps for it. Okay, so now we're gonna choose a background. Dun, 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 dun. There's a lot. <laughs> okay, backgrounds, there we go. Okay, now we choose a background. Mm -hmm. Hmm, what to use, what to use? Hmm. I think I'm choose this one. Yeah, this one. I make it bigger, like really big, five thousand. And then you click on the arrow, you drag it to the new picture, then you drag the layer under your AV, then you do Ctrl T and you make it fit the box. So I was going little steps because I'm, otherwise I need to do everything again. Okay. Sure that everything is okay, and then enter. Normally, I fade the background too. This time, not. And with fade, I mean uh, blur it. So this is for shadows. You click on drop shadow. Okay. Create layer. Then you got the shadow. You do Control T. You can see. You have a nice shadow. This you can do by pressing Ctrl and click on the little box. Okay, so I'm gonna make it like this. Um, I always blur it because it's nice when shadows don't look so clean. Okay, and I also fade it. There we go. Got your picture. Thank you for listening. Enjoy. Bye.